Big data. The name itself says that it contains a massive amount of data. According to a Wired article, Google's CEO mentioned that between the dawn of time and 2003, humans had created 5 exabytes of data, and by 2010, this much data was being generated every 2 days, and by 2021, it was happening every 40 minutes. In fact, there is a saying that every grain of sand on the planet has around 400,000 bytes of data. Carrying these interesting facts, Let's move forward to know more about Big Data. Hi everyone, I am Rupa Sohi. Welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will explore Big Data. If you want more amazing tech related videos, do like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay tuned. Let's get to the video to learn more about Big Data without any further delay. We will begin this session by discussing the evolution of Big Data. What Big Data is and its workflow. Then we will have a look at its applications. Moving forward, we will understand the different types of big data and then the 5 Vs concept. After that, we will understand the benefits and challenges of big data. And then we will explore its various career opportunities. And then next, we will understand what major tools are required in big data. And finally, we will end the session by discussing its future. Let's look at the evolution of big data in human history since the dawn of time. As we know, humans have created large amounts of data since evolution. One interesting fact is that, according to Forbes, 90% of the world's data has been generated in the past couple of years. Furthermore, the technological advancements made in the last century are more than those in made about 2000 years. Now, we know how big data has evolved. Let's understand what big data is in a simpler manner. Big data is a collection of huge amounts of data that is spontaneously growing with ever increasing speed. This data has a diverse quantity of information. The world generates approximately 40 exabytes of data in the form of text, music, phone calls, emails, etc. and could be collected from anywhere like social media networks and websites. This data is also so massive that traditional database management system can't manage it. So now we have a better understanding of big data. Let's look at how it works. In a way, we can say big data understands us more than we understand ourselves. The motive behind big data is that the further you learn, the more you can acquire and make a decision or discover an answer. But to understand this concept, we need to know how big data works. So the main steps are Collecting data Collecting data is a process of gathering information from raw data that can be used to evaluate outcomes and find answers to relevant questions. Processing data It includes converting the information collected from raw data into valuable and usable information. Cleaning data it includes detecting and removing corrupt and inaccurate data from processed information. Analyzing data. It consists of various methods to evaluate the data according to the requirements. Now that we know how big data works, let's look at some of its applications. By examining vast amount of data, big data helps firms make better decisions. Web server logs, internet clickstream data, social media content and activity report. Text from customers, emails, phone call details, and machine data gathered by numerous users. Big data finds its application in various sectors like manufacturing, healthcare, education, media and entertainment, banking, and securities. So, let's understand all these big data applications in detail. In manufacturing, there are some main advantages of adopting big data applications such as monitoring product quality and flaws. Planning the supply, forecasting of output, raising energy effectiveness, and support for manufacturing mass customization. Healthcare. Big data analytics have enhanced healthcare. So, researchers are analyzing the data to find out which therapies are more efficient for specific animals, spot trends in drug side effects, 
and gather other crucial knowledge that can benefit patient and lower cost. Coming to education, big data is used by organizations that conduct online educational courses to find candidates who are interested in those courses. If someone searches for a YouTube tutorial video on a certain topic, an organization offering online or offline course on that topic will subsequently send that individual an online advertisement for their course. Coming to media and entertainment, companies that offer media and entertainment services such as Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Spotify analyze the user data they acquire. To determine the business strategy, information is gathered and evaluated about the types of videos and music consumers are watching and listening to, how long they spend on a website, etc. Coming to banking and securities, big data is used by the Security Exchange Commission to track the activity in the financial market. Huge data is used by retail traders, big banks, hedge funds, and other big boys in the financial markets. This sector also heavily relies on big data for risk analytics, including enterprise risk management and anti-money laundering. So these were some applications of big data in various sectors. Knowing about its application, we have come through a year. Now let's discuss its topics. There are three types of big data. Structured data. It's an organized set of data that has defined parameters. It is arranged in a table-like format with rows and columns, so it can be worked on with ease. For example, it includes the date, address, credit card numbers, and geolocations. Unstructured data. An unorganized set of data that comprises nearly 80 to 90 percent of the total data. This data is created daily through social networks and many other things and is not transcribed or tagged in an organized manner. For example, ML, AI, IoT, and analytics. Coming to semi-structured data, a combination of structured and unstructured data. It also includes organized text and data not formatted in conventional ways. Some examples of semi-structured data sources are emails. XML and other markup languages. Talking about big data, its 5 e concept always plays a major role in understanding big data. Let's have a look at each of its 5 concepts. Understanding the 5 e's enables data scientists to get more value out of their data and helps the organization where they work to become more customer centric. Coming to volume, the first of the 5 e's of big data is volume. It refers to the quantity of data available or the initial size of the data is collected, which can be thought as the foundation of big data. As an example, Netflix has over 86 million subscribers worldwide and streams more than 125 million hours material daily, which is over 60 petabytes in size. Next is Velocity. Velocity is the second of the five V's of big data. It describes the rate at which data is created and transferred. In order for business to make informed business decisions, data has to flow quickly so that it is accessible when needed. As an example, Google receives about 63,000 queries per second. Variety Variety is the next way in the five Vs of big data. The diversity of the data is referred to as variety. Data may be gathered by an organization from a variety of sources with different degree of value. For example, data could be in any format, like structured Excel sheets or semi-structured XML files. Next is Veracity. The fourth of the five V big data V's is Veracity. It speaks of the reliability and excellence of the data. The gathered information can be incomplete or unable to offer any useful information. So, in general, it refers to the degree of confidence in the data that has been gathered. For example, data collected in the medical experiments like DNA analysis is highly volatile. Value Value is the fifth and final V in the big data. This refers to the benefit that big data can offer. It is necessary to be able to extract value from big data because the value of big data greatly depends on the insights that can be obtained from them. For example, the analytics used in the healthcare provides us the information which is very helpful for the society. 
nevertheless the advantages that big data may provide are well worth the time and efforts so let's talk about its benefit customer experience it can be improved by using the information gathered from big data by suggesting products that are more individualized to the customers and according to their choices so the next benefit is decision making by identifying patterns in big data it can be tracked whether the solution is solving the problem or not cost saving organization can gain by analyzing big data and have an increase in their revenue and a cost reduction so the next benefit is fraud detection this benefits in saving cost and maximizing revenue offering a better customer experience also speed up the fraud analysis eliminating manual work identifying fraud before it occurs and ensuring a high fraud detection rate by removing false positive so now let's discuss the last benefit on our list which is data security big data security can be readily addressed with the information resources qualified labor a clear coping plan and commitment to data integrity and privacy businesses can achieve their ultimate objective of utilizing data for better customer experience and retention if there are no risk to big data as we know big data has some benefits but it also has some challenges so let's discuss that challenges in big data big data has some problem in implementations as they require quick attention and must be dealt quickly as they can have a negative outcome so let's examine some big data challenges lack of knowledge professionals any company that deals with big data challenges know how difficult it is to find big data experts so data handling tools have advanced rapidly but most professionals have not to close this gap effective measures are needed the next challenge that we have is integrating data in a business information is gathered from a variety of sources including social networking pages erp software customer logs financial reports emails powerpoint presentation and employee written reports it could be difficult to organize reports after combining all of this data the next challenge on our list is big data table selection when choosing the simplest tool for massive data analysis and storage companies are often confused which data storage technology is simpler hbase or cassandra now let's discuss our last challenge securing data one of the biggest issue of big data is securing these enormous databases companies generally put data security to later phases because they are so busy understanding storing and analyzing their data sets a stolen document or knowledge breach could cost companies billions so i hope i am able to make you understand the benefits and challenges of big data now it's time to get an understanding of its various career opportunities those with a talent for understanding and applying data for decision making will be wise to pursue a profession in big data this section provides a high level overview of job opportunities and fundamental skill needs in the big data domain the following are some titles and responsibilities big data engineer big data engineers use massive amount of data to produce insights for corporate decisions Additionally they are responsible for developing and managing the hardware and software architecture of the company you typically need 2 or 3 years of expertise in the field to be hired for the role of a data engineer next we have a data architect an it expert who implements data storage and management solution and plan future databases using computer and design talents recruiters prefer applicants who are fluent and have excellent sql and xml skills data scientist a person with a keen knowledge of scientific methods and algorithms to extract necessary insights from noisy and unstructured data the position of data scientist often requires a master degree next on the list we have a data analyst it can be defined as someone with the skill to drag out useful information required by the organization a technical graduate degree and knowledge of microsoft excel sharepoint and sql database are minimal qualification Let's talk about the last position on our list that you can get in the world of big data. Security engineer, an engineer with a job of managing and controlling network security protocols and protecting sensitive data. 
Security breach protocols and computer forensic knowledge are needed. Data tools assist in the management of large data sets and the identification of patterns. So if you want to work in big data industry, you will need to learn how to use these technologies. With this, we have come to our second last topic of this big data session, which is big data tools. Big data tools. Apache Hadoop is an open source platform for storing and analyzing big data on commodity hardware. It is written in Java and allows for concurrent data processing due to its clustered architecture, which allows it to run on numerous machines simultaneously. The next tool that we have is Apache Spark. Apache Spark is comparable to Hadoop, but unlike Hadoop, it enables real-time and batch processing. It can also perform calculation in memory, making it 100 times faster than Hadoop. For efficient query execution, it contains 80 high-level operators. Coming to Apache Flink, Apache Flink is an open-source tool for processing bounded and unbounded data streams. It is written in Java and Scala and provides high accuracy results even for late arriving data providing high performance and low latency. It also supports event time and state management. The next tool that we have is Apache Storm. Apache Storm is an open source framework for dealing with unbounded data streams. It has the advantage of being compatible with any programming language and support JSON based protocols. So the last tool in our bucket is MongoDB. MongoDB is a cross-platform big data tool with an open source NoSQL database. It is simple to set up, requires little maintenance, is dependable and cost-effective and offers data-driven solutions. As of now, we know much about big data. Lastly, let's discuss the future of big data. Big data has a promising future ahead of it thanks to technological advancement, including easier access to enormous volumes of data, high demand for professionals. As businesses look for ways to utilize the potential of big data, technology professionals are great in demand. On Dean and Dice, there are now a lot more job listings for positions and related to analytics than there were previously. Next is the salary aspect. As data analytics knowledge become more crucial, Trades for qualified specialists are rising, and big data is eager to pay top cash for the best candidates. Data analyst in Australia makes an average of $130,000 a year. So with this, we have come to the end of the session on big data. I hope you found the session both interesting and exciting. If you have any questions about any of the topic covered in the session, or if you need the sources used in the session, Please let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be pleased to respond as soon as possible. Thank you. Until the next time, this is Umra from the Simply Learn team signing off. Continue to learn and stay safe. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.